Hello and welcome to this technical analysis video for Wednesday, March 27th. I'm Christina Barthanibu, investment analyst here at Exxon.com and today we'll be looking at the New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar following a dovish policy meeting by the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. So zooming into the daily chart, we can see that Kiwi dollar is sharply down by more than 1% at two-week lows today after a failure to break uh, resistance around its previous peak of 0 0.6940. Uh, yesterday. However, this uptrend line drawn from the 32-month uh, low of 0 0.6423 in October uh, seems to be keeping uh, downside movements under control uh, once again. Uh, looking now at momentum indicators, the MACD has slipped uh, just below its red signal line, suggesting some weakness for the market in the near term, while VRSI has a steep uh, negative slope below 50, but it's close to a strong support area around uh, 40.50. Uh, so it would be interesting to see whether the indicator will rebound here for the fourth time this year, giving some positive signal for the price movement. If the market indeed improves, immediate resistance could come first at uh, 0 0.6870 and then at 0 0.6940, which is also the 50% Fibonacci of the long downlink from 0 0.7436 to 0 0.6430. Uh, 4.23. Higher and more importantly, above the December peak of 0 0.6968, the pair will resume its upside uh, trend, bringing probably more buying interest to the market. Uh, in this case, our resistance could be found between 0 0.7050 and 0 0.71. On the downside now, a decisive close below the uptrend line uh, could push the price towards the 200-day moving average currently at 0 0.6732, uh, while even lower fresh uh, sell-off could start under 0 0.6650, where the market finished the December downfall. The medium-term outlook would also shift to bearish if the bearish action uh, continues below 0 0.6650. So that's all for me. Thank you for watching and have a great day.